Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to look at Bob Larson and his International School of Exorcism. So let's jump right in. If you don't know who Bob Larson is, he's the pastor at Spiritual Freedom Church of Phoenix, and apparently he considers himself the world's foremost expert on cults, the occult, and supernatural phenomena. And by the looks at all the places he's ministered and appeared, people are believing him. This article here says that he's using mail order credentials to be irreverent. How true that is, though, we can only guess. Another in-depth article on him sums him up this way. Larson thus wavers between presenting balanced teaching grounded in biblical truth and espousing dangerous ideas established by his alleged encounters with the supernatural. Unfortunately, even the biblical aspects of Larson's theology end up overturned as a result of his supposed skirmishes with the demonic. As Larson's focus on spiritual warfare intensifies, subjective experience reigns supreme. I'll leave that link in the description below. But as we saw before, he travels around the world with this focus being on the supernatural. What supernatural, you may ask? That would be exorcisms and casting out demons. And when you see titles saying that he has cast out witchcraft, Jezebel, Leviathan, and Lucifer in one woman, you know it's a bunch of baloney. Satan can only be in one place at a time, and I promise you, he's got more sinister things to be doing in this world than putting on some dog and pony show in this guy's church. But you know he's got to be one of the big boys if Fox did a show on him. We usually only see the biggest frauds like Benny and Kenny being exposed on the news. And yes, he's been on the Sid Roth show, so there's another warning bell. In this next clip, he makes a boastful statement that unfortunately many people are buying into today. I've done more exorcisms than anybody on the planet, and 99.9% .9 of them have been on Christians. We're going to tackle this topic at the end, but before we do, let's look at a few more questionable things. We see on his site that people are all carrying these crosses, and you'll see the same stuff in his videos. He's often pressing crosses up against people's heads or using the Bible in the same way. These are just inanimate objects and they hold no power, yet people are buying into this. And on his site is a section called Do What Jesus Did. Well, I'm pretty sure Jesus didn't hold up crosses or Bibles to people's head. Come on. He not only has a church, but an international school of exorcism where you can learn this stuff. If we look at the course levels, we see this is pretty detailed stuff. We've got the apprentice level, the warrior level, and the granddaddy poobah exorcist level. If we go back to the front page and click on enrollment, ah, you knew it was coming. You too can learn all three levels for the low price of only $500. And that's quite the deal, considering it would normally be $3,000. And if you're really serious about this stuff, you can take the advanced lesson for $1,000. And as it says, this is a separate tuition. So let's look at this biblically. And I know some out there disagree with this, and that's your right. But Christians cannot be possessed by demons. Oppressed, yes. Demons want you down and depressed. They want you to sin. They want you living in doubt, and they whisper the lies that create this battle in our minds. But they cannot fully control a born-again believer. And there is not one Bible verse where a demon was cast out of a born-again believer. You are a new creation with the Holy Spirit living inside of you, and God does not share you with a demon. Demons are very real and come in different forms. In the book of Mark, we read the story and learn that they can cause a person to have great strength. In that same chapter, they can make a person damage themselves. We read the story in Acts of a woman with the spirit of divination. Scripture also says they can cause sickness or physical problems. We see this in Luke with the disabling spirit, or the story of the mute man in Matthew. But the good news is that we don't need crosses or Bibles to cast out demons. We don't have to engage in conversation with them and spend time yelling at them over and over again. 
As born-again believers, we have been given authority through the Holy Spirit to use the name of Jesus and cast these out. The one in us is greater than the one who is in the world. I suspect that many involved in these movements are not saved and maybe actually have demons. What a great way for demons to have their fun and deceive people. We know from Matthew that Jesus told us that many were going to think they were saved, calling him Lord and claiming they prophesied, cast out demons, and did many other things. But Jesus never knew them. So why is it any surprise if people in these movements may be unsaved? I know there's people on this channel that say they have experience in this area and have said to me, so how many demons have you cast out? What makes you such an expert? Well, number one, it's not about being an expert. It's about reading the Bible and comparing what people are saying and doing to what the Bible actually says. And number two, I've only had experience casting out two spirits in 20 years of being a Christian, but both times it was the same. One was a woman in the emergency ward that had a stroke, was stiff and couldn't talk, and the other was my friend's father here in Cebu. His throat was swollen and he couldn't eat. I simply said, spirit of infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave this person and do not return. And they were set free. The lady said thank you and started eating a yogurt cup. And my friend's father could also now eat. But it wasn't a big spectacle like we see these people going through today. It was like we read in the Bible, immediate. So in conclusion, I think most of us can agree that as far as Bob Larson and his money-making school of exorcism goes, he's another wolf in sheep's clothing. Read your Bible and pray to God for wisdom and truth on these topics. But as always, feel free to share your comments and any of your experiences in this area. And until next time, take care and God bless.